No emails, no faxes, no phone calls, no nothing. Simply silence, Lloyd. Ari. Silence, Lloyd. It's golden. No indies, E. Think of it like the Holocaust. Never again. Eric. Eric. Doing a show for hey, Where do you think you're going? I, they just flew in a liver. I got to do the transplant. Where do you think I'm going? You are such an asshole. I'm the asshole that pays for your art lessons and gets celebrities to attend your charity events and support your deadbeat brother. Hey, little agent boy. You better be back here for the cake. OK. But he has read Medellin, and he wants to do that. Where'd you get that one, huh? Josh Weinstein? A little insecure, Ari. No? Uh, how'd you get it? A turtle found it on the subway. What's it matter? We want to do it. Yeah, and I want to fuck Angelina Jolie. The only difference is I might actually have a shot. Oh, what, we don't have a shot? No. You want to know why? They're out to a guy. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. His name is Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise? You going to play Pablo Escobar? Oh, come on, the guy's not even Hispanic. Yeah, and Hilary Swank has a vagina, and she won an Oscar pretending she has a dick. That's what actors do. They pretend. Uh, I guess... in the same suit as yesterday? I spent the night in jail. Oh my god. Ari, why didn't you call me? Because you get one call and I wanted to use it on someone I'd like to have sex with. Thank you, Ari. Thank you. You know what? Don't thank me, thank E. For once in his life, the little McNugget delivered. Where's the little freak anyway? Well, who's going to man the phones? Fuck the phones, Lloyd! Unless Carmen Electric calls for an emergency titty fuck, don't Look, ask. I'm sitting here with my husband, trying to have a nice meal. Perhaps the two of you could speak tomorrow? Absolutely. Understood. I'm sorry to disturb you. You're sorry? You're sorry for what? You're sorry for leaking slanderous, out of context Sit nonsense down, about me, huh? And then rifling through all my hard work to steal my football team? Your voice. Fuck you, Ari. okay? Fuck you. Now, hold on a second. I've never hit a woman in my entire life. But I swear to God, in my mind right now, I am pummeling your smug face to a pulp for everything that you did to me, my career, and my family. But not to worry, all right? Because I will prevail, because I'm a winner, and you're a whore with more cleavage than talent. And I will not stop until I destroy you. Mr. Gold, I have to insist that you leave. Excellent choice, because I have a life to destroy. I'm so happy, Ari. You've made me very happy. I hope you're happy, too. Do I look happy? What's wrong? Has so much cum been squirted in those eyes, you can't see what's right in front of your face? Amanda Daniels takes that job. Vince is fucked, and I'm fucked, which means we're all fucked. And we're fucked in the way you like to get fucked, not fucked in the way that normal people like to get fucked. Everybody, stop. I didn't go to the Lakers game because they were playing the fucking Bobcats. And I came here today because I thought this was a session on how my wife could learn to communicate, how to answer a question without a question. Basic Humanity 101, which I thought, given your wall of fucking diplomas, you could easily fix. Or if you couldn't, you could give her a pill that could either fix it or make her a mute. But now, to turn around and gang up on me, I have work to do. I have hundreds of clients to deal with. And just so we're clear, I don't care about any of them. They're all just a number, like wife number one and therapist number seven. Good day. You're really only our fifth. You want to hug it out? No, not really. Let's hug it out, bitch. Let's hug it out. Okay, yes. If I could gouge out Terrence McEwick's eyeballs and eat them for what he did to me, I would. And I would sell that Benedict Arnold Adam Davies in a white slavery if we lived in a place that had a market for it. And Lloyd, that little queen who I welcomed into my home and allowed to play with my children and care for my dog and who left me for those two scumbags, I would tie him up and allow the entire Screen Actors Guild to anally rape him, if not for the fact that I know he would enjoy it. I hate them all. And yes, I want to see them destroyed. They're gonna push Ferrari 12 weeks. What are we supposed to do for 12 weeks? Enjoy life, what else? And snap some below the belt photos of that partner of yours and send them over here. I am bored. You wish. Later. Later. You're bored. It was a joke, baby. You know I'm never bored here. Now give me something. What time is it? I don't know. My cock doesn't wear a watch. Ari! Are you hiding something from me, Ari? Only my cock and my asshole, Lloyd. Not out here. You read the Times, huh? Yeah. You read the New Republic? Uh, I've heard of it. Well, I was reading that. And it's interesting, because what it says is that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, so this isn't even a request? 
it's a necessity? I'm afraid so. Wow, you think that I'm beaten and weak or something? You know, look, I'd hope that you would be reasonable. Listen, sweetheart, you want to call and butter me up with sympathy and then drop this on me because you think that I'm down and will kowtow to anything? Let me explain this to you in a metaphor you will understand. I am sure there are guys who have fingered you in the ass long enough that eventually you let them fuck it. And now you think you got me bent over with your finger in my ass thinking I'm going to let you do the same. I am not like you, Dana. You will not fuck me in the ass. Vince will not piss in a cup for you or anyone else. What the fuck are we doing here, man? I, I'm on Atkins. I need protein. Oh, come on, there's plenty of protein in my beans. No, no, I'm talking about real protein. I mean, like man protein, you know, from the flesh of slaughtered animals. When I have war paid out, I'm on blood dripping. That's what I need. Anyway, people staff meeting has been canceled. You all have one goal today, to get Vincent Chase's brother, Johnny Chase, a job. Any job. I don't care if it's a porn shoot in which he is being gang raped by a gaggle of silverback apes. If there are cameras rolling, everybody wins. 10 grand to anyone that can deliver this to me today. Can I buy for the 10 grand prize also, Ari? Sure, but you'll get paid in the end. Now try E one more fucking time. Give me something big. Anybody, please. Jesus Christ, you all suck. If I didn't have a five-year lease on this place, I'd shut it down and work out of a cardboard box by myself. So, here is $100. Please put it in a brown paper bag along with a nice big pile of shit and send it over there. Excuse me. Human shit, Lloyd. Right now. That is really disgusting, No, Ari. really disgusting is going to be the American Psycho-style dismemberment I'm going to perform on you if you don't do that right fucking now. What about doggy poo? Human shit, Lloyd. Yours, if it's easier. Otherwise, go camp out in the men's bathroom or the women's bathroom, whichever will have you, but I need a specimen. I can't hear you, Lloyd. I'm in the hills. Did you get the Billy Walsh script? Uh, Lloyd, I can't hear you. Did you get the Billy Walsh script? Shut the fuck up, Here you go, baby. Men at work, the land down under. We're gonna get drunk with Russell Crowe and we're gonna headbutt some goddamn kangaroos. Now, with that in mind, tell me, why in God's name is this happening? He fucked my wife, Ari. He did not. You did? You fucked his wife? As you? What? Did you pretend to be him? Or did she actually fuck you thinking you were you? You think this is funny? No, I think it's disgusting. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out why she did that. I mean, if I were to cheat on my wife, it would be with like a you know, a busty blonde or a, an Asian with pointy nipples, but an exact fucking replica. Stop. Yes, Mr. Gold. I want you to keep an eye on Andrew Klein. Keep my eyes on him how? Pretend he's Zac Efron's ball sack. And find me if you spot anything strange. Back up all my files. Pile everything you see into a box. Everything. You see a used condom, an executioner's mask, and a goddamn spike paddle. Don't think. Just pack that bitch. Chop suey. Ladies, I'm sorry, I, I would uh, love to congratulate each and every one of you, but unfortunately, Barbara's cock is all I can handle. Congrats again. How was dinner with Alan? Ask him if he found me a job yet. Dinner was great. Tell drama he's on my to-do list right after inserting needles in my cock. That is what we call a bitch slap. A bitch slap for a bitch. Believable. Down in front! I paid two grand for the seats. Hey, I'll on. get out there and launch a three if I want. Rusty cunt bucket. Fuck! I wasn't laughing. Fuck! <laughs> what the hell? Can we fix this fucking projector already? I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I'm going to hit the bathroom real quick. Can somebody fix... The fucking projector. Well, if you ask me, Ari Gold should rise up and be the bigger man. Well, unlike your world where the bigger man pounds the smaller man from behind, the bigger man in my world is the last man standing. And that man will be me. Your lucky Ari. day. How so? I'm only going to make you lose 10 pounds. <laughs> He's not in there. Why would he be in his office at 3 o'clock? Where is he? Conference room.
Okay, I believe that that is an L. It is, in fact, an L. You <laughs> believe six hours ago I couldn't even read a stop sign? All right, test me again. I want to go smaller. Smaller. All right. Great work, Rob. Great work. See if you can read this. You're fired. And in case your ears are fucked, get the fuck out. And the next person I see juggling, tap dancing, or baton twirling, or doing any other circus-like tricks will join him, all right? One strike policy applies. Now get back to work. Ah, damn, that felt good. <laughs> okay, you new in town? I've been here a month. Okay, you probably don't know me, you will. I want you to pass this message along to Dana. Tell her that I still have the pictures from Cancun. Tell her that I'm going to start a website. I'm going to take a full page ad out in the LA Times advertising it. Tell her it will be called I'm a Hollywood Executive Whore.com and that no password or fee will be required. Tell her I want a fucking callback. Going to take everyone your B level sitcom stars, your reality TV writers. When I'm done with you, you're going to be repping sideshow freaks. You need JoJo the dog faced bitch boy? Call Josh Winefuck. The lightweight pen stealing fuckface. That's awful. Go. You so much as I fuck another agent in this building, I will deport you naked to the Taliban. Either way, you have nothing to fear because I'm not gonna kill you. I love you. You see, even though you betrayed me, you were the best slave that I am.